¿Dónde está Puerto Vallarta? Like a place for people that like to travel, that like to meet people, people that want to live inside and outside. I'm a believer that uh, life is nothing if you don't get to be happy. I haven't been here in 18 years. It was a very different place to visit back then. So coming to Puerto Vallarta is, is a great way to really experience authentic Mexico. And I know a lot of people are looking for that now. I continue to be amazed at the eclectic yeah. and very appealing architecture of Puerto Vallarta. Around every corner is a building with a different style and, and it's just charming. This charming. city has an awesome history and it, you see it if you walk around on the streets. I like the cobblestone streets, I like the colors that are everywhere, I like yeah. the painted walls, I like the murals <laughs> on the wall. There's never a second where there's not something interesting to watch. I see the Marlin Cone in my head, the first and foremost thing that I see. Here the walk is right on the water and you really feel like you're on the water. You've got a beautiful thing here. NACHTA is an organization that brings together media, travel, writing professionals, uh, photographers, and destinations uh, that they write about. In Mexico, it's easy to find out the stories that make destinations and experience magical. And Puerto Vallarta is a delightful destination. and relaxed. And frequently, generations of the same family have welcomed visitors. I am a lawyer, but then when I'm done my lawyer career, I used to study gastronomy. I born in this ambience. I love the Mexican food and, the, and this land, Mexico. I think especially for Midwesterners and some of my readership, they would be surprised at the amazing culinary scene. We're giving not just cooking class, cooking some tamales today, yes. <laughs> they whipped the lard and mixers. They added in some fresh masa. And once that lard and masa are combined, it's time to make the tamales. Mole! And then we fold, okay? You have to fold the two ends of the banana leaves together and it makes a little packet. And then they steam them for about an hour and after they steam them we ate way too many. Yes, yes we did. And they were delicious. No, 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 no. So I'm excited to let other people know about the vibrancy that it is here right now. We've brought here 100 travel journalists from Canada and from the United States. I will be publishing the wonderful stories and beautiful photographs of Puerto Vallarta, which, uh, which is what's important is to help the economy in this area uh, through tourism. I want to say thank you. Thank you to Nadia for choosing Puerto Vallarta 
I hope they can share this experience in Puerto Vallarta with the rest of the world. When you have government, the private sector, the community, and everybody's working on, on the same direction, no doubt it that you have a good result. I think, I, I think for Puerto Vallarta in particular, there's a really bright future for the next 10 years. I think the interest is here. People want to come and have a more authentic Mexico experience. So I didn't know how much, you know, the local culture we'd see, but I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah. Puerto Vallarta has a great future ahead of it. You, you see the, uh, the best in luxury hotels, you see the best in haute cuisine, um, but you also see a love of the past and uh, holding on to the traditions that make Mexico such a vibrant location and such a colorful destination to visit. La eternidad inició cuando los dos se tomaron de la mano en Puerto Vallarta. Eternity started when they both got together with the hands in Puerto Vallarta.